Hello, this is Samuel Stokes from SamuelStokesMusic.com and I'm on Finale version 25 for Windows and I wanted to talk really quickly about how to use the Explode Music tool. And it sounds really cool, doesn't it? It is kind of cool, actually. Uh, it's not big explosions, necessarily, but it is very interesting what it does, and it's very helpful for certain things. Um, so let's look at this thing that I wrote on a previous video for piano, just some, some basic chords here. So lots of ones, fours, and five sevens, basically. Um, so this is a good example that we can use the Explode Music Tool to do something interesting with. So I'm going to select all of this uh, and to make sure that everybody knows what I'm doing here, Selection Tools, one that looks like the mouse cursor. Uh, there's a couple ways. You can actually drag a box around your selection area or you can click the first measure and then click the last measure with the shift. So shift click the final measure. That's what I usually do uh, just so I make sure that I'm selecting complete measures. Um, so now that I have that selected, there's two ways you can do this. You can either go through Utilities, go down to Explode Music. That's one way to get to the Explode Music um, menu. The other way is to simply press the number 2. All right, and Number 2 on the keyboard when you have the selection tool uh, selected. If you press 2 on the keyboard, it gets you to Explode Music. But either way, Utilities menu or Shortcut 2. I love those shortcuts because they save you a lot of time when you really know them and you can just pull them out. Um, now, you have a few options here. We're going to talk about some of these options. Um, let's say, well, we have four notes in each chord, so if we split it into four staves, that would be one for each stave. Now, at the bottom here it says new staves added to the bottom of the score. Well, since we don't have enough staves for all of these notes, then we better go ahead and do that this time. So if I click OK, See, it's going to break this out. It's going to put the top note of each chord in the top staff, second note from the top, third note from the top, and then the final note. Now notice something. Now we have an extra note in some of these measures because these five seven chords actually have five notes in them. Okay, so this would be a place where we can illustrate one of the other functions that you can do here. So I'm going to undo that by hitting Control Z. That's another good shortcut to know, Control Z. Uh, it's also in the edit menu. You have undo, control Z, that's in most Windows programs you do that. Uh, to undo, control Y does redo. Um, those are just kind of universal keyboard shortcuts. Now, I have this selected still. If I hit 2 to explode the music, I have it with four staves, and it says what to do with the extra notes. Well, you can either put them in the top staff, you can put them in the bottom staff, which is how it was by default selected. But if I click the top staff, let's see what it does. See, what it does here is it has the first two notes in the top staff, and then in the rest of them puts the notes that are below that in this chord up here. So we have, instead of having the extra note at the bottom, we have the extra note at the top. So let's undo that again. We press 2. Another good option, which uh, sometimes you might want to use, is the discard. Let's use the uh, top four notes, but whatever's left, we just get rid of it. So now we have just the top four notes of each chord, which is all of the notes of the first three chords. But this 5-7 chord, we don't use that B. The B below middle C is not to be found. We just stop at the D and we discard the extra note. It's gone. All right, and what other choices do we have here? Um, and you can have it where you, you can distribute it to these staves. You can actually specify how you want it to uh, uh, distribute uh, if you want to get a little more specific. Um, so that's another another way that you can do it. Now you can also have it explode top down is the way that I almost always do it. You can have it explode from the bottom up as well. So let's see how that affects things. So we do the from the bottom up. You see you still have the same order but instead of discarding the bottom note it discarded the top note instead. So you see how we have the G, F, the D, and the B because we actually started by exploding from the bottom, B, D, F, G. We hit our four notes, we discard the top note. Now, let's talk about one other thing. Uh, if you wanted to split it, say we just wanted to use the staves that are already here. Let's say we want to split this just into two staves and 
we want to use existing staves, starting with staff one, which is this top staff that we're on. Um, so it's going to split. Well, let's see what it does. Let's do top down. So you notice what it did. It took the top two notes of the chord, but then it destroyed the music that we had here. It basically just overwrote it with the notes that, that were the top two of the chords that were here before. Now you notice they're way up high. That's because it was different clef. If this was treble clef, you would see it in the same spot that it was um, on the treble clef in the original chord. All right, another possibility, if you click two and then use these clefs. Now by default here, it shows zero and zero. Zero is the, uh, the code here for treble clef, three, three, that's bass clef. So if we have this where it's splitting into four. We have it creating new staves at the bottom of the score. And this is indicating zero, zero is going to be in the first two are going to be treble, three, three, the other two are going to be bass. We click OK. That's how it distributes. It changes the clefts automatically for you, and that's uh, that can be really useful, especially if you're splitting out for specific instruments and you want those clefts to be correct. Um, then you can get it to do that. I'm going to undo again. Now, one really useful thing that you can do is if you have something that's scored for keyboard like this and you want to split it out for four-part harmony, say you want a four-part choir to sing this, um, we click two to explode. So it's already set to split those chords into four staves, discarding the bottom one. And now I want zero, zero for treble clef. Now the code for the treble clef with a little eight below it <laughs> for uh, tenors, that's five and then three for bass clef. So zero, zero, five, three, and then it doesn't really matter what numbers you have behind there um, because we're not using any more staves. Um, I click OK, and now you have it in proper four-part harmony. You have the sopranos, altos, the tenor on its special clef, and then the bass and bass clef. So um, you can have the piano playing this accompaniment and the vocalist doubling what's in the right hand of the piano in four-part harmony. Uh, splits it out for you automatically. Saves you a lot of time. <laughs> or it can save you a lot of time if you know how to use it. Um, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions, uh, please make sure to put that in the comments below, and please subscribe. Thank you.